Jack thinks of a number, adds 5 to it, and squares the result. If the result is 16 more than 20 times the number, find the number. There are two possible answers. Say, let us say this is Jack, and he he likes to think about numbers. So he thinks of a number, adds 5 to it, and then squares the result. So let us take an example to understand what he is doing. Say, uh, he is thinking, suppose the number he is thinking is, say, 4. Okay. Then what is it? What does he do? He adds 5 to it, okay, and then squares the result, okay. So this is the starting number. He starts with 4, adds 5, that is, this is 9 squared. So he is getting 81, okay. So what are, what are they saying? The, if the result, this is the result, this is the result of what he did. So he did two things. First, he added 5 and then squared the number. If the result is 16 more than 20 times the number, that means the number that he thought uh, he started with. So what is 20 times? 20 times. 20 times the number. That means the number is is 4. So 20 times the number is 4 is 20 times 4 is 80. So in this case, if he started, if 4 is the number he thought, 20 times 4 is 80. So you can we say that 81 minus 80 is equal to 1. This is just an example to explain what his thinking process is. So he started with the number, added 5, squared it, he got this result. And then he uh, made uh, 20 times of the number that he thought, that is 80. So we can say the result is one more than, in this case, uh, if he started with four, this is what he would, this is what we can say that the result is one more than 20 times the number. So this is just an example to explain his thinking process. So let us now start with an arbitrary number x. So this is how you do in algebra. So let the number he, he is thinking be equal to x. So let the number that he thought is x. We don't know what that number is. So what is he doing to that number? The first thing that he does is he adds 5 to it. Okay? And the second thing that he does is he squares it. So this is x plus 5, the whole square. Now this is called, in this example, the result. So he is getting a result by doing two process or two operations. First operation is adding and then squaring it. So what are we saying? The result, that is this result, is 16 more than 20 times the number. So what is 20 times the number? 20 times the number. 20 times the number would be 20 times x, which is written as 20x. So in other words, what are we saying? This is greater than this by 16. So let me write that. So this means, this implies x plus 5 squared is greater than 20x than 20 than 20x by 16. So this is what the whole story is about. Okay, now before we write the equation, this is where students struggle to uh, write the equation. So what does it mean? Suppose I say 7 is greater than 4 by 3. Suppose I make this statement. 7 is greater than 4 by 3. So how will we write this as an equation? 7 is greater than 4 by 3. So well, you can say 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. Does it make sense? 7 is greater than 4 by 3. So now I am saying that x plus 5 the whole squared is greater than 20x by 16. So to write this, that as an equation, I'll use a different color. I'll say x plus 5 the whole squared minus 20x is equal to 16. 
So let us expand this. So this is x plus phi times x plus phi minus 20x is equal to 16. So let us foil this out. So x times x is x squared plus x times phi is 5x plus phi times x is 5x plus phi times phi is 25 minus 20x is equal to 16. So let us simplify. So let me write this. So this is x squared. This is 10x. I'll do more steps so that you can understand. Plus 10x. And I'm going to write this minus 20x along with it. Plus 25 minus 16 is equal to 16 minus 16. I've done two steps to get not two steps. Basically, what I've done is I've taken away 16 from both sides. And I've written this. I've grouped the like terms together. Okay. So what happens? So this is x squared minus 10x. I hope you understand this step. I've taken away 16 from this side. So I have to take away 16 from this side. Plus 25 minus 16 is 9 is equal to 0. So now this is a simple quadratic equation so you start with x in both the brackets and the two factors of 9 which gives you 10 so the two factors of 9 which gives you 10 is 9 and 1 so you have you want a plus number and a negative number here so both have to be negative so how will I check minus 9 minus 1 times minus 9 is plus 9 this is minus x this is the main thing. This is minus x and this is minus 9x. And that is minus 10x. Okay. Therefore, we can say, therefore, x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 9 is equal, x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 9 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 9. So he started either with from 1 or 9. So let us check whether this answer is right. So he, let us say he started with 1. So what's the first thing that he did? 1 plus 5. And then he squared it. Okay, that is 6 squared, which is 36. This is the result. Okay, and what is 20 times 1? 20 times 1 is 20. 20 times 1 is, oops, 20 times 1 is 20. So that is 20. So can you see this number? If you take away, you get 16. So this answer is fine. Now if you start with 9, what, is, what does it do first? He adds 5. So 9 plus 5 is 14. Then he squares the number, which is 14 squared. So you can use a calculator. I know 14 times 14 is 196. So he got 196. Then what is 20 times 9? 20 times 9 is 180. Can you see that this is also 16? Now 196 is 16 more than 180. Okay, so both the answers are right. So this, both the answers are right. And you can be really be proud of yourself that you got both the answers and be accepting both the answers.